Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and today we are fall baking. We are making three amazingly delicious and when I say delicious I mean delicious fall recipes. These are perfect to take to gatherings, Thanksgiving, Halloween parties, you name it. These are dessert bars that are fall themed with all the fall flavors. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload five new videos every week and I plan on having lots of baking, holiday themed content coming your way, so turn your bell on so you don't miss those videos. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Link Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We would love to have you. So let's start our fall baking. So the first recipe we're making are spiced chai blondies. I love chai. It is so fall to me. I do want to give a couple of disclaimers. Now I am making these recipes for a couple of get togethers. So I'm going to actually be using real butter as well as regular white chocolate chips in this recipe. For the recipe on my website, I will make sure it includes light butter and low sugar or sugar-free chocolate chips to lower the points and calories. But like I said, this is going to a get together. I'm going to make it with real butter, real chocolate chips, real brown sugar, etc. So I'll let you know, like I said, per recipe, what I'm doing versus what will be included in the recipe on my website. So for this recipe, I will have light butter, a brown sugar alternative, as well as lilies or some type of sugar-free white chocolate chip. So for the blondies, we're going to, you're going to need brown sugar, all-purpose flour. I'm going to use pumpkin pie spice. It calls for things like cardamom, nutmeg, cinnamon, which is what's in pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice. So I'm just going to use that white chocolate chips, salt and pepper. I have this fresh vanilla bean from Trader Joe's. It calls for vanilla bean paste. So I'm actually going to scrape the vanilla out of these. Yum. An egg and then some butter. I've melted one half of a cup of butter. I'm adding in one cup of brown sugar, one egg, and then I'm going to squeeze out that vanilla bean. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. These smell amazing. These are like $2.99 at Trader Joe's, which is a killer deal. These are really expensive at the grocery store. I've seen them in the little spice jars for 10, 12, 13 dollars. So I'm going to squeeze out all of the bean, all of the vanilla bean out of both of them. And then I'm going to mix our wet ingredients until smooth. And then I'm adding in one cup of flour, my pumpkin pie spice, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of pepper. And then I'm going to mix this together before I fold in the white chocolate chips. And then I'm folding in one cup of white chocolate chips. Let me grab out an eight by eight pan, line it with some parchment paper, and we'll be ready to get these in the oven. Here's what the blondie batter looks like. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. I'm adding that to my baking dish. And then I'm gonna spread that out nice and even in the bottom our blondies into a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 28 minutes. So I just pulled out the blondies. I'm going to allow them to cool completely before I pop the parchment paper out of the baking dish. And then I'll cut them up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. I also wanted to show you that I have this cute little, it's a plastic plate. I don't even know where I got it with little pumpkins on it. I'm going to my friend Melissa's house today actually to do a craft day and I'm bringing some of the sweet treats to her. And then this is what I'm putting together to take to the lake for my boot camp group in one of those little disposable trays. I'm gonna put a little bit of all the bakery, all of the baked items in these to take. So here are the blondies. I just have to say that these are cooked perfectly. They are so good. I had a little corner of one. Totally tastes like spiced chai. They're ooey, they're gooey, they're buttery. Wow, these are incredible. Next, we're making apple crisp cream cheese bars. Yes, please. Apples to me scream fall and anything crisp is my favorite. So again, let me show you 
what you'll need and I'll let you know what substitutions I'll have to the recipe on my website. So you're going to need all purpose flour, brown sugar, you'll want to sub a brown sugar substitute, rolled oats, sugar, again, sub a sugar substitute, highly recommend allulose. I have it linked in my Amazon store. I'll put it in the description box. Love it for a sugar alternative. No cooling effect, tastes like regular sugar, super delicious. So that is one substitution you can make. Vanilla extract, three Granny Smith apples. I am using one third less fat cream cheese. Butter, again, use light butter if you prefer. Two eggs at room temp, baking powder, baking soda, and some cinnamon. So the first thing we're doing is making the crumble topping. So I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half of a cup of quick cook rolled oats, one cup packed brown sugar, and then a quarter teaspoon of each baking powder and baking soda. And then we're going to stir this to combine. And we're adding in three quarters of a cup of melted butter. And then we're going to mix this until we have a crumbly texture. And here's what our oat mixture looks like. I am going to reserve about a cup, a cup and a quarter of the oat mixture for the topping. I greased my baking dish and we're going to add the rest of the crumble and then press it into place. Kind of press that into the bottom, making a crust. We're going to bake the crust at 350 for 15 minutes or until golden brown. All right, while the crust is in the oven for the apple pie bars, I've got my two packages of one third less fat cream cheese. I'm going to do half of a cup of sugar, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two eggs. And with our handheld mixer, we're going to mix until incorporated. We're going to set the cream cheese mixture aside. Now we're going to put together the apple filling. So I would sliced those three Granny Smith apples. I peeled them, cored them, sliced them super, super small, and sliced them really thin. I'm going to add one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, and some cinnamon, and just stir to get those apples coated. So I just pulled the cooked crust out of the oven. We're going to add our apples on top. Kind of spread those out. And then we're adding that cream cheese layer on top. And again, just spread that out nice and even. And then lastly, that crumble we set aside, we're going to put that on top. Then we're baking it for 38 to 45 minutes or until it's cooked through. Look at these apple bars. Oh my gosh, these smell so good. It smells like apple pie and cheesecake had a baby. That's how good it smells in here. Again, I'm going to let this completely cool as well before cutting it into bars. So here's what the apple bars look like. I just pulled one out and put it on a paper towel. I'm currently loading them up into the trays for my events. These look amazing. It's like apple cheesecake with a crumbly top. Yes, another amazing option for a fall recipe. For the final recipe, I'm really excited for this one. You know my love of pumpkin anything. We're making pumpkin bars with cream cheese frosting. Think Starbucks pumpkin bars, think all of those delicious bakery bars, we're making them at home. You're going to need vanilla extract, Sugar, you can also use a sugar substitute. Again, I highly recommend allulose. I'll have it linked for you. I am subbing unsweetened applesauce in place of oil. I actually think it makes your baking products even more moist. I know people hate that word, but more moist, more fluffy, and saving so much fat and calories. Flour, powdered sugar, you can also use a powdered sugar substitute. Salt, cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, one third less fat cream cheese, four eggs, canned pumpkin, and butter, again, I'm using regular butter. You can sub light butter. So to get started on the pumpkin bars, I'm cracking four eggs into a large bowl, and we're going to beat these with our mixer until foamy. Then we're adding in our can of pumpkin. So one cup of unsweetened applesauce in place of oil, one cup of sugar, sorry, that was one and a half cups of sugar, and then I'm going to mix. Then I'm adding in two cups of flour, 
One teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder and a pinch of salt. And then we're going to beat until mixed. I think I'm going to cook mine in a bread pan. You can use a baking dish, a jelly roll pan, whatever your preference is. Our loaf is going into the oven for about 25 minutes at 350 or until cooked through. So for the frosting, I added my block of cream cheese, my one cup of butter. I'm going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to mix until creamy. And then I'm adding in my powdered sugar. You want about three cups total. So I'm going to add it in basically little by little and then mix until you have a frosting. So I added a little red and yellow food coloring to dye it orange. Hello, fall. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside until the bars are done. I just pulled the pumpkin bars out of the oven. You can see that we have changed pans. That bread pan was overflowing all over my oven, so I quickly took it out and put it into a nine by nine baking dish, and that seemed to work perfectly. So I'm going to allow this to cool. We'll frost it and cut them up. So my pumpkin bars are nice and cooled, so I'm going to go ahead and frost them with the cream cheese frosting. And here are the pumpkin bars with a big thick coating of cream cheese frosting. I am actually going to pop these in the fridge, get them nice and firm. Then I'll cut them up and I'll show you what my little tray for my boot camp girls day looks like with each of our fall baking treats. So I've been cutting the pumpkin bars up, putting them into the tray. So we have a little bit of all the sweet treats from boot camp and then I'm doing the same thing on the plate but these are such fun fall inspired recipes thank you for joining me for this fall baking video i hope you enjoyed seeing all three fall inspired recipes i love a good dessert bar they're super portable they're convenient and again they're great for any holiday get together all of the recipes are on my recipe website it is linked at the top of the description box as well as nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and of course come join our facebook group we would love to have you happy fall y'all and i'll see you in tomorrow's meal prep